What's going to guys? So you already know it's going to be a good video because we got the Trail Boss back in for some more mods. So for anyone that doesn't know, this is my father-in-law's 2020 Trail Boss. And this is going to be a Christmas special because him and his wife are actually in the Bahamas right now. But I have acquired his truck and I'm going to be throwing some really, really good mods on this thing today. Um, a few that are from me, Lauren and Knox, and a few that are from his wife. But it's going to completely transform this thing and honestly, probably just about finish it out. It's going to look so sick, complete blackout. It's going to be changing the things that really, really needed to be addressed. Got the whole GM squad up here chilling, plus Larry, but Larry's an honorary member. Got Team Ford chilling down there. We might have to pull it down there out of the wind because the wind's been kind of crazy. We got some storms coming tomorrow, but either way this is going to be one of two videos on the trail boss this week um, tomorrow's video i'll be filming later this afternoon i'll give y'all a little teaser it later but without rambling anymore let's go ahead and jump into it see what we got for this thing so it's definitely not hard to spot what needs addressing the most on the rear of this truck that being these factory tail lights they are so bright red they stand out terribly on this all black truck Honestly, the third brake light is a much, much darker red and does not look bad at all. It's almost tinted from the factory. Whereas these things, they basically glow in the dark. So, y'all know we had to hit up my boy Ryan down at Recon and get him a set of smoked out LED tail lights. Let's unbox these bad boys. Some of you that have been following the channel for a while might know that I had these on my Trail Boss, the all white one, and they looked amazing but I am super excited to see what they look like on an all black truck. I mean, this is gonna make a huge, huge impact. And Mr. Brett, I'm sure you're watching. These are from your wife. She's probably sitting there next to you. So here we are. Dude, look at that. I mean, just for comparison's sake. Oh my gosh, dude, this is about to look so freaking good. I believe this is a T10. It's all scratched up, so I can't really read it, but I believe it is a T10. Just got two of these. Now that you got the tail light unbolted, you're gonna pull it straight back. Don't pull it to the side, not anything weird, straight back. It might be difficult to get out. You might wanna tape off around here. Just be extra precautious. scary noises it's gonna be all right though now to get in here the wire is clipped in now if you can see grab your red tab pull that back then push in and then this guy just gonna twist and she's free well lucky me it has started raining but look how sick that looks without those red tails in there. Slightly better, I would say, right? Go ahead and get all the wires free on the back of your recon lights. You're gonna have this plug and this plug. This is actually gonna go in right here for the interior bed lights, right there. We're gonna be removing that as well as this entire harness. You're just gonna follow it down underneath the truck. I'll show you in a second. And you're gonna be snaking this down, obviously, same way, plugging it in and then plug this guy back in right here. All it is is that little red tab. Pull that back, pinch that in, pull it straight out. Your harness will be free. So let me show you what it looks like underneath. So we're laying underneath the driver's side. Look up here, you'll see the wire coming down. Goes over the frame, hooks back right here. There's your connection. Just grab that red tab, pull down, pinch above the red tab, and pull it off. Those uh, two little connectors, all you do is take a flathead, stick in the bottom side, twist it, and it'll pop free. So we're gonna put our new harness in them as well. Take your uh, bed light, go ahead and plug that in. Lock your red tab. Get all the wires out of the way. Line them up. Boom. <laughs> Dude, oh my gosh. That looks so freaking good. Back under the driver again. See, come through there. Connect it again. Connect it up top. Plugged in. Perfect. All right, let's make sure she's working. Oh, yeah. 
<laughs> oh yeah, she's working, boys. All right, let's get this passenger side knocked out. So these bed light connectors can be a royal pain in the butt. That one not too bad, but this one is definitely annoying because the red tab that you gotta pull back in order to get it off, it's actually pointed inside, so you really have no room to get it. I got this little hook tool. I'm gonna try to grab it, pop it out like that. Like I said, definitely annoying. So a bonus perk of the recon lights, not only do you get an awesome looking blacked out tail light with the C bars, you also get, boom, the bright white reverse light. So can't have them riding around with this factory halogen tag light looking terrible. So we had to hook them up with some last fit tag lights. Nice pure white LED, the world. Time to address the front of this truck. Obviously, the thing that stands out the most to me is this cheddar cheese in the headlight. We're gonna be putting a little tent film over this corner. I did it to my Trail Boss. It cleaned it up really, really nicely. Um, this is not the same one that I use. We're gonna be applying this wet. Uh, hopefully it goes on there good, but we're gonna start off by just uh, cleaning this headlight corner really, really good. We don't want any bug guts or anything hiding up underneath it because it will definitely show. And it's basically just going to install just like that and just darken up that orange so that it doesn't stick out so bad. Of course, I'll use this side. Some of this water out so it'll start to stick. Oh yeah, that looks so much better. All right, guys, well, here she is. Looks absolutely amazing. Like I said, completely transforms this truck. And honestly, the little bit of red that you can see in the recons matches perfectly with that third brake light. So it ties in so freaking good. Dude, I knew I was gonna love it, but dad gum, it looks so good on this black truck. Loved it on my white trail boss, like I said. But dude, crazy. Little tent. Little cheap mod right here goes a long ways. It cleaned that up so much. Oh my gosh, dude. He's gonna be stoked. Obviously, he's gonna whoops. He's gonna see it. We'll have a reveal in the next video before I post these videos. Man, that made a huge difference. You can still see some orange from like the front angle, of course, because it doesn't wrap all the way around. But that right there, I mean, that made a big, big difference. It looks great as is, but it doesn't even compare to when you turn the freaking lights on. The running lights are just what make these taillights. Look at that. It's so crispy. 
dude, it looks so freaking good. And then, of course, last fit tag lights. Nice pure white. Looks so much better. This thing is going to be the, so sweet at nighttime now. It's probably pretty easy to spot the next thing that we're going to be changing on the truck. That being the chrome HDMI exhaust tips. That's going to be the following video. Only because the exhaust shop said they probably can't get me in today. And I got to continue to create content. So that's going to be a following video. But just look forward to it. I'm not going to tell y'all what we went with. But it's going to be absolutely sick. Probably the last real bit of chrome on this truck. Hopefully they're going to be able to squeeze me in later this afternoon. If not, it's going to have to wait till Friday. But either way, the truck is looking absolutely amazing. Super, super killer with these taillights, a little bit of tint, the LEDs, dude, trail boss is coming together. So be sure to be on the lookout for the following video where we change out the exhaust tips, give this thing a new sound and a new look, completing our blackout. So hopefully you did enjoy. Comment down below. I'll have links to everything in the description. I'll see you all in the next one.